Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Benzo back here in the arena. Today we're doing a best of one historic event. We're playing LSB's uh, Rakdos Arcanist deck from the recent Mythic Championship. Uh, I know you've probably seen this deck around a little bit before. It's tight. It's a little bit different. Uh, not quite as like, you know, graveyard focused with that Stitcher Supplier and the Claim to Fame. We got a little bit more of a mid-range plan here. Uh, three Fatal Push. We have four discard spells for turn one with four Inquisition of Kozilek, four Thoughtseize, a couple little spot removal spells, a Flay Bless Bolt, really good against the uh, the graveyard decks and the Spike Field Hazard as well. We also have two Soul Guide Lanterns. We have plenty of a graveyard hay are ready for those, uh, the, that Golgari food deck. Uh, three Unholy Heats. We, of course, have four Arcanists to try to get value out of our one mana spells. Uh, two Magmatic Channeler for a little bit of late game action, a little bit of card advantage here and there. We got our Finisher and Kroxa. Uh, one Go Blank, four Season Pyromancer. Again, kind of filter your draw, and then you kind of get a draw two uh, on a body whenever you're hellbent. Uh, two Coligan's Command, and here's where it gets a little bit different. So uh, the deck used to play Lurus out of the sideboard. However, you can't with the planeswalkers uh, we have two soren the mirthless new out of crimson vow and we have good old faithful chandra torch of defiance all right mana base right here for you don't really have to go through a whole lot a couple of man lands uh then we have some dual lands all that good stuff perfect mana sideboard right here uh we have one duress two go blanks two gold against commands uh two ley line of the voids uh, three feet the swarm i'm sorry i almost said two Three feet of the swarm, one Noxious Grasp, one Witch's Vengeance, two Legion War Boss, and one. Can't really see it around there. It is a Bedevil. Can't really hover right there with this uh, with a Dunbud right here, but it is a Bedevil. So let's go ahead and run this through a best of one historic event. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if this deck is the real deal. Let's go. Okay, we are in to game number one with this Rakdos Arcanist deck. I forgot to mention that deck tech, the link for it is going to be down below. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a peek at our hand. Looks like we have a couple things to do on turn two. Uh, the Arcanist isn't super great since we don't have a one mana, one mana uh, spell like a Thought Seize or some sort of spire removal. However, we do have the Seasoned Pyromancer kind of smooth it out a little bit. So uh, it's kind of on the weaker end of the hands that we could have, but it is still a keep here. So we're just probably going to lead on this Blood Crypt. And then turn two, uh, if we draw like a like a Thought Caesar Inquisition, we're going to play an Arcanist. But if we don't, looks like we're up against Mono White Life Gain. Uh, so here we're just going to jam a Kroxa. A uh, little bit of a... Ooh, we're going to turn that down just a hair. So a little bit of a combo here with uh, the Kroxa and the Season Power Man. So you can go ahead and ditch the Kroxa, get a 1-1, one, one, and then also kind of fill your graveyard up a little bit. So I think our plan is to definitely like play this pathway on red, play a pyromancer, ditch at least this Crooks and probably something else. Uh, we probably want to keep the Soren, and it really depends on what we what we draw next turn if we want to get rid of this Arcanist. It might be some fodder for this pyromancer. Uh, what does this thing do? No, 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 it gets plus one. Ooh, ooh, spicy. So I think here what we kind of want to do. I think it's just play the Pyromancer, Dish Croaks, and Arcanist, because Arcanist isn't doing a whole lot for us, and then Croaks is kind of a free card to pitch away. We could play it, make them discard a card, but I think getting two wood ones is a little bit better right now. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. One, two, get rid of them. Draw two more cards. Oh, it's a little late, a little late there. Um, however, however, we'll be all right. So I guess like the worst card for us is a Heliod, but it looks like they don't have anything here right now. Um, I think our plan is probably going to be just attack with all and then play a Soren and minus the Soren here. Uh, just to kind of make a blocker because it goes down to two. So um, I mean, if they really want to, they can play a creature. Um, I guess we keep one of these elementals back just to protect the Soren, but we'll, we'll attack with those two. That way, in case, uh, you know, if they play another creature, we can still save the Soren. Gonna get half of a, or two-thirds of a Nighthawk here. Dismissing the Death Touch. 
All right, so there we go. Now the, the primate's going to get pretty big. However, we're still probably okay here. So primate's going to be real big. Uh, we're just going to end up chump blocking with these elementals. So I think first things first, we're going to go ahead and... Well, no, we're going to... We have three cards. We're going to Thoughtseize first. That way we can look at the sword and see if... Ooh, what is going on here? So they're stuck on two mana. Uh, Johnny... Johnny's probably the best one. We can play around to settle the wreckage forever. So that's not that big of a deal. I think the... The thing to take is in a Johnny right here. They're probably not going to day of judgment right now. So let's go ahead and plus the Soren. Um, taking three. That's probably okay because we can gain two back. Let's go ahead and reveal that. And then I think what we're going to do is play a Soul Guide Lantern and then hold up a Coligan's Command. Uh, we can get the Crux of back and kind of disrupt their hand a little bit more. So let's go ahead and play this Soul Guide Lantern first. We'll get rid of that. A Johnny in their graveyard. And we're going to go ahead and attack for two just because we're not going to block with it. So we might as well get a couple points of life gain in. And we have, we do have four cards in our graveyard. So something to keep in mind. Sure. Sure. Are they going to attack the primate? Oh, they're attacking with the primate. Uh, yeah, we're just going to throw an elemental in front of that. And then end of turn, we're going to make them discard a card. And we're going to get a Croaksa back. Yeah, Thoughtseize isn't worth having. We're going to get a Croaksa back and make them discard. We don't really care about these vanguards a whole lot. Oh, and they got rid of the Day of Judgment. Okay, we kind of thought that was going to happen. So I think first we will play Croaksa to see what they discard. If they discard this uh, this mystery card, but they're probably not. No, see, they got rid of the Settle the Wreckage, so we should still probably play around it later on, but... Hit our land drop here. Um, I think we can cash in this Soul Guide Lantern now. Uh, it doesn't look like they really have anything going on with their graveyard. And see, we drew a channeler. So we'll play this Hive just so we, so we can uh, activate it if we need to. Play a channeler. Still a 1-3, but that helps get rid of some of these lands that we're flooding out with. Probably also okay to attack with that Pyromancer. But now we just get to protect the Soren forever. Attacking us. Well, I don't think we want to take 10 either way. And now we have six cards. Er, yeah, six cards in our graveyard. So, one, two, three, four. We can activate a Chandler. We get to play a Croxa here. Um, we get to activate a Chandler, get rid of a Pathway. I guess we just take the push and push the pride mate. Yeah, I don't think they're really going to interact with us a whole lot. I'm pretty sure this game is uh, in the bag. They hit us with a GG. Yep. Game one goes to us. Just, you know, a lot of disruption there. It also doesn't help that they were stuck on two lands, but this deck does still feel very powerful, and it's a nice little... Uh, I like how it's not as combo-centric, and it's a little bit more of a, of a mid-range plan. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and head over to game number two. And we are back for game number two with Rakdos Arcanist. Uh, looks like we're playing against Soren himself. Uh, this hand seems fantastic. We have two lands. We have three ways for them. To, well, I guess technically four ways for them to discard, but we might not end up using that. But anyway, we get a lead off with an Inquisition. Uh, I mean, like, seems great. Seems fantastic. I'm just going to play the pathway. Um, we could take two here, but if we draw like a... Ew. Ew. Oh, that's going to be hard to beat. That's also not going to be super easy to beat. Well, I guess the play is just take a search. And we're probably honestly going to hold off on this Kroxa, and we're going to play... 
we're gonna play the spike field hazard tapped and then the inquisition away the other search well, let's go ahead and inquisition first Narset's also good here. Um, they are stuck on... They only have two lands in hand and only one blue source. I think taking the search is probably the best, just so they can't really filter their draws. And then we'll play this hazard tapped, and we'll just pass the turn. Um, I don't know if we really want to give them a target for that fatal push yet. I think what we want to do is play the Kroxa here, make them discard a card. They'll probably honestly get rid of... They might just get rid of that Fatal Push. Let's see what happens here. We don't want to run Chandler out into a Fatal Push right away because we don't want them to use their mana that efficiently. I'd rather um, have them play the Narset and then we play our Chandler. And I don't think they're going to play any creatures, so there's probably no reason for us to pay two life for that. They play the Narset here, so that gives us kind of free reign to play this channel or this or our next turn. Uh, we could also K command, but that Chandra does look pretty nice. Um, what could we do? If we K command, we make them discard a card, and we we could hit the Narset for two, so they don't get another card. Um, that's probably better than playing the Chandler here. If they get an untapped land, they just like play Chandra minus on our Chandler and then draw a card off an R set. So I think what we're going to do, it's going to, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Um, I think we're just going to have them discard and we're going to shock. We're going to shock the R set here. It doesn't seem great. See, there's that land. There's the land for the Chandra. So if we played that Chandler, it would have been bad. But, I mean, anyway, this doesn't look super good for us. This is really bad. What do we have? We have four cards. So I guess we're going to go Arcanist and Chandler. They're probably going to end up killing both. However, that leaves us open to play a Kroxa. Uh, we have to hope that they fade a land... twice? I mean, it's really the only thing we can do to get back in this game. They're getting a lot of advantage off the Chandra. Get to see an extra card every single turn, I guess. Oh, no, they get to just play the Nicol Bolas right now if they just plus add two red. Red, black, 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 blue, yeah. Yeah. Play, play the Bolas. Red, hold on. So that has to be blue, red, red. I guess they don't get to Fatal Push here, so they can only kill one thing. And it looks like we have an Inquisition, so we get to kind of protect. Oh, I don't think we're going to use that Fatal Push. That was a little weird one to do. Hmm. We're just going to get rid of this pathway right now. I guess we'll take a Thoughtseize here. We'll Thoughtseize something out of their hand. This doesn't look super good for us. We'll take a Sorin. Um, so they're on like mono planeswalkers. We'd have to minus three. I don't think it really matters a whole lot. Does this have to? I guess this is the more worrisome of the two. Right now, at least. Uh, free Inquisition to take one of their Fatal Pushes. I don't think we're going to get out of this game, but, you know... You could be wrong. I guess, like, step one is for them to Fatal Push our Arcanist. And then we get to play a Crux out of the yard. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, because their Bolas just... Ooh. Ooh. My intellect is without limits. Hello. Nice. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Why would you do that? Uh, uh, 
Uh, uh, well, I think we're kind of out of this game. Let's go. Let's just uh, roll right along, hit him with the GG, uh, and then we are. Let's let's go out on our terms, kill that Narset, and then we'll concede. You know, got to try to get these daily challenges done. Uh, well, you know, Grixis Planeswalkers is a bad matchup for us. So, uh, let's, uh, roll right through to the next one. Round number three with Rakdos Arcanist. Uh, we have a lot of disruption here. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is that we have two pathways and not like a red-black duel. Um, however, given that, I think it's still perfectly fine to keep this hand. I would like another, like a black red source, but. So they have Temple Garden. Does that mean we go Swamp Thought Seas? Or does it mean we go Swamp Hold Up Fatal Push? Probably Swamp Thought Seas here. Ooh. Now we're against uh, Bant Planeswalkers. What is. I'm not drawing multiple cards a turn. However, 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 this growth spiral does look pretty juicy right now. Uh, I think that's going to be the pick here. They don't have double blue for the Narsets. Uh, they only have two lands in hand. So I think uh, our plan is just to growth spiral or take the growth spiral and try to get them to discard a couple more cards before they can really do anything. We will... What are we going to play here? I guess it's... Croaks, uh, they have two Narset, so as Croaks are here, next turn we can play the Thoughtseize to take the Teferi if they have another land. But they have two Narset, so there's no real reason to like Thoughtseize them here and take a Narset. Well, I guess Power Croaks are too much. Croaks are too strong. Um, well, quick, quick game for, for the Arcanist deck. Uh, let's go to game number four. Game number five out of a powerful, very powerful showing of Kroxa, uh in that third game there. And I realized that at the end of that video, I definitely uh, was speaking like you couldn't see my face. So it was a little weird, but, you know, we're just going to ignore that. Uh, anyway, back to the hand. We have four lands, fatal push, goal against Pan and Pyromancer. Uh, it seems A-OK. -okay. We have a fatal push for their turn one or turn two play. I'm kind of hoping they're a creature based deck. That means we can go like fatal push, K command. Uh, Pyromancer seems sweet. So like this all around, it's a fine hand. Uh, I would like to trade like, you know, one of these in for a discard spell. However, seems fine. Spike field cave tells me not a whole lot. Oh, blue red tells me that they're on the uh, possibly on the like the is it epiphany deck that's been popping up in historic. Croxa it is. They don't have a Jawari Disruption uh, because they didn't have a stop there. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, is that like a mag... Oh, it's a Creativity deck. Okay. Oh, it's like a Magma Spray. So they two for one themselves. That's pretty sweet. I don't think we want a Pyromancer. I think what we would like to do here... I think what we would like to do is just play an Inquisition. If we play a Pyromancer, uh, I want to be able to play a Chandra, and we're going to pay two life. I think we play Pyromancer here of a Fatal Push and maybe the K-Command, just to solidify we're going to hit that fourth land drop. We might, I mean, top three cards, we're probably going to hit a land, right? Let's hope. Let's hope. Or what if we just don't hope and we just get rid of these two? We have a hive, so I guess the extra lands don't hurt. Oh, see you. Looky there. They don't have Archmage's Charm mana up. Hi, yeah. So I think now our play is just to go Inquisition. See what they're working with. Oh, ooh, oh, they're on the, okay, I see, I see. We're gonna get rid of that creativity and we are going to, 
They don't have another three mana spell, so I think honestly, we're gonna go with another Pyromancer and we're gonna get rid of the Fatal Push and the Arcanist here. That way we can keep the Chandra uh, and also get a couple more 1 1s. So we're applying more pressure here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. When you draw a card, you get a 1 1, but it costs six mana. So they might also have like the six mana Niv. They don't have an anger, do they? I think our play here... We attack with all. We go down to eight. They have to use these treasures if they're going to counter something. They do have two cards that we don't know about. Um, I think what we're going to do is attack with all, play a Chandra, play a Den. I don't think the deck plays Disruptions, but I could be very, very wrong. We get blown out by one. Let's see what stops we have. So they probably have... Okay, that's, that's fine with us. Put a card on the bottom. Probably not the Locust God. I don't think they'd get rid of Locust God here, right? I don't think they have it. They did. We'll just exile. Kill two. Play this den tapped. And now we're in a pretty, pretty commanding lead. If they have a creativity, no creativity. That we've seen two already, I believe. Yes, we've seen two creativities. If they have a third one, we're in for a bad time. Uh, however, it looks like they're probably digging with this iteration. We're already um, representing lethal with what we have on board. Um, the the den is just just way more damage. There it is. Yeah, they just didn't quite have it. They're digging for that third of uh, creativity here to try to combo us out. Um, but yeah, they have the yeah. So I guess they might not have the disruption. I could have been wrong about that. Um, however, it did end up working out in our favor this game. Uh, so it looks like we are three and one in this best of one event. Uh, let's let's keep the winning streak going. Rakdos Arcanes. This deck seems like it might be the real deal here. This is this is a little awkward of a hand. We do have two turn two plays, but uh, this Arcanist is kind of a dead card right now. We do have a channeler to try to smooth out our draws as well as the Pyromancer. Um, this is a very, very meh hand. We do have a ton of one mana uh, interactive spells. So given that, and also we had two things to do on turn two, I'd rather be on the play here. However, uh, it's probably good enough to keep but it's not great. I'm not sure if there's really a whole lot uh, of a better six that we can have there. That's definitely not it. Um, yeah. I don't want to give them any more information than what they need. The summit tells me that we might be in a mirror match. We're playing against Grixis Control. I don't think there's really another Grixis deck. I hope it's not the Grixis Walkers. <laughs> uh, I don't think it really matters too much here what we get because we have the pathways. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and throw down a a channeler, and if it gets if it gets killed, it gets killed. But at least we can go like Pyromancer. I guess it depends on what we draw next turn, but like we're probably going to pitch an Arcanist because we can always get it back with the with the command if we really need it. But we're just gonna okay. So murderous rider. Ooh, that doesn't do a whole lot for us. So if we go pyromancer, we discard Arcanist and. Deals two, that deals two. I mean, like, it's not bad. I think we might just get rid of, like, Arcanist Pyromancer, because then next turn we can go Command, because they're probably going to play this Murder Strider, right? So that way we can go, like, 
shock the rider, make them discard, or shock the rider, get back the Pyromancer. And then bolt the last two points of damage to kill it. And yeah. It doesn't seem terrible. One, two. Uh, the Arcanist is just a little weird right now. Never didn't have it. I do also like going Croak's uh, Arcanist here. Because that way we can like bolt, attack, bolt it. And we can also like K command, make them discard, get back at Croxa, which is going to tear their hand apart even more. Croaks into our yard. And I think the play here is to attack with just the Pyromancer. If they block with the Bolas, we get to bolt it down. And then we can just play like an Arcanist or we can play the K command. Either one. Hi, yeah. Because I don't really want a two for one. They probably won't block here. But yeah, I was going to say they might. Um, so now, the Murderous Rider is really not that big of a deal. This Nickel Polos is a little bit bigger of a deal than that one. So, given that, let's go ahead and thin out the deck a little bit, grab a Swamp. And I think what we're going to do is K-Command, we have six cards. We're going to K-Command, deal two, make them discard, and then bolt it. So that way, I mean, like, we only have two cards, they have three, right? But we still have this Pyromancer that we can we can get one ones out of next turn. I guess, like, it's a two for two at that point. If they play Murderous Rider, we're just going to slam a Kroxa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No land would even would be even better here. What is... What did they get rid of? Wait, what? What? The Elder Spell. Somebody really doesn't want to lose the Planeswalkers. Wow. I mean, that would have been great for us in, uh, in was it, game number two with the Grixis Walkers? That would have been clutch. They might be holding up a Fatal Push here. I think we're gonna, gonna hedge against that Fatal Push. They could have a Languish. I think they have a fatal push. We're just gonna run out everything in our hand. That way in case we draw another Pyromancer, we can at least get some cards out of it. So now this Arcanist attacks and bolts the Rider in case they want to block at all. And we have things to do, like we can play Kroxa, which we probably won't yet. Ooh. So now we get some one ones out of the deal. Um, bum 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 bum. I think that we just want to start off by. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. They're probably not gonna block, so it's no biggie. Don't block. Don't block. Do we play the Fable Passage? Probably. So then, end of turn, we're just going to go ahead and get some Elemental of the Pyromancer. I'd rather get the 1-1s. One Great. 
grab a basic and we're gonna go ahead and exile a seasoned pyromancer i guess by like we could draw a k command as well and get back the other pyromancer and then draw some cards out of it but that's not it let's start off with an easy uh pa pow six damage coming in right now what exactly are they worried about? I guess they're really worried about this Kroxa. Well, I guess we're not going to do anything. We have the option of exiling this Pyromancer. Pathway was a very unfortunate draw there. I think I would have taken really anything that's not a Pathway. <laughs> Or I guess, like, any land that doesn't animate. And we don't have anything for that Arcanist. But I guess, do we have four types? We have Creature Land Instant, Creature Land Instant. So Unholy Heat doesn't... I guess Unholy Heat does, right? Because then we attack with the Arcanist. Do we even want... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we do want to exile this Pyromancer in case we draw any type of removal spell. But we might be overextending into a board wipe, but that's fine because I think at that point we have the Kroxa. We still have seven cards in our graveyard too, so we still have enough. I guess we're in a cycle this real quick let's get rid of the older spell I don't think well I guess they could have a gear hulk so we probably should have taken the instant but no biggie give us a not that So they block one, they take seven, they gain two. So they take five total, take them down to three. Now let's do, let's, I mean, we gotta get in there. There are a million draws that would have been okay there, and that was not one of them. I, yeah. So we're going to take him down to three here. Ooh! Ooh! I still don't want to play this Kroxa. I, I still don't want to play that Kroxa. <laughs> Even though they probably don't have, have like, a... They might have a removal spell for it. Right? Eliminate, Fatal Push. There's plenty of things that kill it. But I want us to have an opening to play it. And right now, we're doing okay. Um, Inquisition or Thoughtseize would be a really good draw here because it gives us enough information to know if we can play a Kroxa. Also, um, if they're kind of forced to kill this Arcanist if we draw that because. Yeah. So we have a Contempt here. Uh, do, 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 do. So they're not dead if we draw a removal spell. However. Ever. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. So they take four, gain two, take two, go down to four. Do we care about this rider enough to kill it? I think the answer is no, because we want to make them discard to get back a Kroxa and then make them discard another card. Yeah, they still end up losing some life off of it. I'm gonna return this cry. It might be the channeler. So if we if we get back the channeler, 
Um, that's bad for them because we get to essentially draw more cards. But I think the initial value of like make them discard a card with a Kroxa is probably better because when we escape it, they'll still have less cards in hand. So yeah, this that's okay. Nice. We're gonna Kroxa here, make them discard another card. So they got rid of a Chandra and the oh, so we're gonna like Grixis Chandras here. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it right now, at least. We do have four card types now. Oh, we have an Eagle Bolas. Does that kill them? Not, I guess it doesn't kill them, right? Do we just want to? No. No, we don't want to get rid of one of those. My thieves are never ending. Ooh. Ooh. It's a minus three. So if we do this, they'll gain two life off of it, but whatever. But the important thing is that they can't minus the Bolas to kill our Kroxa. We have 10 cards. Let's try to keep as many card types as we can. Three. We don't care about that either. Four. Five. So now they're empty-handed. They do get to draw another card with Nico Bolas. But if they kill this crook, so we just get to replay the other one. Or like, I guess they have to exile this. Yeah, we'll get rid of another mountain. I have smarted you eons. Now what could they have? Okay, so if it'll push on the Kroxa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Ooh. Let's make this quick. I do love this Copeland doesn't do anything for us. But Let's just do something phases out. I think we're just gonna send two two elementals at bolt. Mm. Doesn't matter. This go blank is now fodder for the bolas because I don't think they can really get anything back from their graveyard. But uh, <laughs> who? Who? Do we just wanna? We're gonna think about this for a second. I don't think Teferi matters right now. I think what matters is that this Bolas has got to go, and it's got to go. You gotta go. I don't like this life game that they're getting, but that's fine. We get, if our, get rid of our graveyard by doing this, but they take three here and we have a Kroxa on board that they can't minus. So they're going to have to like minus this Teferi to phase it out if they want to do something about it. I think we're actually going to get rid of an elemental because the go blank deals with with what's in their hand. And I don't think we're going to be attacking with an elemental right now anyway. Loot. So if they don't draw a removal spell, they're forced into phasing out this Kroxa. Channeler's good too. We get to play both. So step one's going to be go blank, get rid of their hand, and then we play a channeler. What 
We also get rid of their graveyard, but like that, that probably doesn't matter. They might have a cling to dust. Looks like they're gonna kill a Kroxa here. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Sure. But why would you? I guess like yeah. Lose the two, gain two. It doesn't really matter there, right? Are you gonna? Ooh, are you gonna phase this out on your turn or on my turn? The end of my turn? Yeah. Go ahead. And, why are you? You've got to have something with your graveyard, right? This card's a temple of deceit. Now. Yeah. 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 The play that they want is on my upkeep, phase out the Chandler, that way I can't discard and activate it. But I feel like this game is slowly, slowly slipping. Ooh! 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 Are we just gonna lose to Grixis Walkers again? I don't think we're gonna be able to come back from this. Uh, what are. Outs. I don't think we really have any outs. Yeah, we're. No, there's nothing we can really do here. You know what? Get your Chandra. But they're still. They're looting every turn with the Teferi. They are drawing an extra card with Nico Bolas, which is going to just start picking off our land. So I think from here. We're just not going to waste any more time. We're going to go ahead and concede so we can get in another game here before this, you know, YouTube time limit is slowly a bird. Kind of slowly, it's fast approaching. All right, we're back on the ground game number six here. We're still playing some Rakdos Ark, and this hasn't changed at all. Uh, we are on the play, and this hand looks... Um, looks all right. We can't really Inquisition on turn one, but... Uh, we can go Arcanist on two, and then we can go like Fatal Pushing Position Inquisition. We can do a bunch. We can do a bunch of stuff here. So we're gonna keep it. Uh, we're just gonna play this Summit first, and we'll play the Den into the Arcanist. It's a little unfortunate that we can't go into position on turn one. Um, well, blue base deck means that Inquisition is eight. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on here? It's also an instant. There's for meaning the draw card stop deck. Ooh. Well, um So we're on the unburial unburial rights plan. Jinkaton, jeez. Wow. Well, we're going to get rid of this thirst. I mean, we might as well. Might as well Inquisition just to get rid of one of those miscasts. Then, next turn. If we get to play this Chandra, it's probably going to be probably going to be it. Solid, solid, solid. Two lands here, so they've been two lands, which makes me feel like they probably picked up one. I'm just gonna, gonna slam the Chandra. Deal some damage. Let's roll. All right, so they're gonna flash back the gaze. Um, ooh, deal damage that play. 
Family Sacrifices. That doesn't seem very good here. Um, however, I would like to Thought Seize away their stuff. Let's actually exile the top card first. Oh. Boom. We'll Thought Seize them, see what they're working with with this little mystery card. I mean, I'm not doing anything else, so I'm just going to pay three here. We're definitely going to take that Cleansing Nova. Um, it is four mana to get that back. Do they have? They have the Demon, but like... Yeah, I don't think we really want to actually Thoughtseize away either one of those. So we're going to attack away. We're not going to cast that. Just because, like, we don't really want to... We don't want to... Like, Given the option of taking that back or getting that back, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, sure, I get ya. I get ya. This doesn't have menace, right? Also has to deal damage to a player. Let's exile the top card. Deal some damage. We'll play that. Uh, I think that's the only creature they have, right? It looks like that's it. So we're just gonna um, not do anything. If they attack us, we get in for three, four, or five damage, which is pretty decent. They have to deal it to us. So by doing that, they let us ultimate this Chandra? They have to have an answer for it, right? They don't. Well, so we're going to go ahead and ultimate the Chandra. Uh, every spell that we cast is going to deal 5 to them. The Fatal Push doesn't need to be CMC 2 or 4. Uh, it just has, It's an if clause, so you can still target it. So we're going to target the demon, deal 5 to them. Target the demon. Yes, I'm sure. I would like. I would like to win the game. Thank you. And then we will unholy heat the demon to deal five. Good game. Good game. Look at that combo finish. Probably should have uh, should have killed that Chandra. But all right. Well, so that means winning record at least for the league. Uh, we are we're four and two. We're going to go ahead off to the seventh game here. Uh, maybe we can go uh, to the end. We are. 4-2 and two with this Rakdos Arcanist list. Shout out to Luis Scott Vargas for playing this dope deck. Um, we This looks sweet. We're going to attack the, the heck out of their hand. I don't think I can pass this hand up. We'll start with an Inquisition. Hit him with that hello to be polite. Uh, probably going to be the Esper Sentinel. What is this? Modular. Da, da, da. Doubles the counters. Uh, we don't really care about that. We don't really care. About, I mean, like, we're going to play the Sentinel. All right, we're going to get rid of the Sentinel. Uh, but I don't. I mean, I guess, like, we thought he's away the Smith. Destroy an artifact you control. This game's flying. Yeah, we're probably just going to get rid of this, the Ingenious Smith next turn. Just so they don't draw a card. Also, it gets a lot bigger. We could. What do we draw? Ooh, so we drew, we drew a, a hive. What is this? This is a modular two. So we could hear me out. We play hive. We we thought these way they're ingenious smith. And then we can unholy heat the glimmer wasp. Yeah, because it's a three mana two. Like, it's not very good. I think we're going to thought see some first. Ooh, they hit a Steel Overseer. I think... I think I'd still rather take this Ingenious Smith, and then we're going to Unholy Heat the Overseer. That way they can't, uh... They can't activate the Overseer. Sure, sure. Let's get rid of that right now. Take our take our beat. Now, oh, ho, ho. so we're just gonna play this on red, and we are gonna go blank them. Told you we're gonna attack their hand. 
So either they're going to keep one land in hand, or they're going to concede to being stuck on two. Kind of thought they would keep that there. But now next turn we get to play a Season Pyromancer. Not bad. That's pretty solid. I don't... Modular is kind of hard right now. It does have First Strike. You can give this flying, so I think... I think we kind of hope to draw a removal spell off of the Pyromancer. Yeah, hit us. a modular triggered ability so essentially this becomes a 5-5 five, five if that happens fiddle push is good fiddle push is so i think the play here is to go play this we're gonna get a red source so like this this is gonna go up to a 4-4 four, four, right but whatever so it'll push this first. Let it move the counters over. And then depending on what we draw, we might just uh, not block. We have instant sorcery land. That would give us delirium if we block this pyromancer as well. Okay, command's pretty good here. So, yeah. I mean, like, if they play something, we can. Not bad, but not great. Um, we are actually not going to block that. We're going to take the four here. So we get taxed one to do that. Let's see, do you want to block? Probably not. And then we're just going to do this now. We're going to deal two to the Sentinel and destroy that artifact. Sure, we'll pay the one. It's like its own little Ristic study. Overseer's not too bad here. Definitely, ooh, definitely uh, not the best. So we're going to get a swamp here. Let's just uh, get rid of that right now. We're going to fire up the den, and we're going to be... We're the beatdown. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so they're not dead next turn. That's where Sentinel's also not a good draw. Yeah, just can't do it, just can't do it. Uh, 5 and 2, let's keep it rolling. On to game number 8. We are 5 and 2 in this best of one historic event are only two losses coming to Grixis Planeswalkers there's a question mark at the end of that one uh, so it looks like we have two removal spells we have two cold against command we have a single pyromancer and two lands so um, seems good oh we're playing against an Obosh so we're probably playing against some sort of like adventures list Dra dragons? Ooh. 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 What? I don't even know what pump spells they play. Do they have an instant speed? I I feel like we should just kill this thing now. I feel like we should kill that. There's a part of me that wants to like wait for them to cast a pump spell on it and then kill it, but I don't know if they can like save it. If they save it, it's real bad for us. Solid. So they're probably on like, they're on the the minion of the mighty plan. So they're trying to get get it up to power six to put a dragon into play for free. But they probably have a bunch of big cost dragons that don't do anything other than that. So I think we're going to be pretty solid here. What does this thing do? Do I do that? 
solid. Yeah, kind of like gain suspend almost. Um, bum bum. I think we want to discard a coal against command, and I want to kind of hit a land here for this go blank. Well, I guess we're going to play an Arcanist. Play that. Play a Fable Passage, and pass the turn. Thoughtseize would be good here. Thoughtseize would be a really good card. Get a land. We're going to grab a swamp here. I would really like a Thoughtseize. I'd like to take this Obosh out of their hand. That's not a Thoughtseize. We could, however... Odd deals double of theirs. If it's a 3-5, I think... What do we have? We have instant land. We're going to have sorcery. I think we get rid of creature. We get rid of creature here. That way we're we're three cards into delirium. That way if we draw on or we have this unholy heat. So if we have like if we get artifact or Oh we'll have we'll have delirium. We're good. We're good. We'll have delirium here. The sorcery will, will give us that. So then if they play the Obosh, we just unholy heat it and keep going, pa pow. I don't really like either of them. We'll exile the unholy heat and we will uh we'll go blank them. See this is this is kind of the 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 time where I wish we had like a claim to fame. Uh, because we can like do that with the Arcanist and then mind rot them again. We are definitely not casting that right now. Best thing would be like, I don't know, just, just slam it. Oh, they don't have a fifth lane for the Obosh, do they? That's good for us. That's very good for us. Uh, we are going to discard this hazard because we really don't need it. And now they kind of like increases our Ooh, soul guide doesn't the does soul guide do enough for us they don't have anything in their graveyard it does add artifact in case we get it does add artifact in case we get the season pyromancer back yeah we'll go ahead and take the soul guide do i have to i have to exile a card so we have instant, instant, sorcerer, creature, land. So like, we'll get rid of the, the Coligan's command. I think we might just want to uh, pop the lantern now to get rid of the Coligan's command. Because the spike field has some sort of equity in this game still. And let's go ahead and cycle the lantern now. That way if we hit like a removal, or not a removal spell, a discard spell, we can use it. That's not a discard spell. But it might be good enough. If we attack with our Arcanist, we're not going to cast either of those. It's a... You may cast, so we still have to target. And I will decline that. We will... Smack them for one. And we can just play an Arcanist here. Um, if they play the Obosh, we just get to untap on Holy Heat. Which is really no big deal for us. Here comes Obosh. Ooh, old Knobbone. Let's go ahead and kill that Obosh right now. And then, actually, four, five, six. Puts him on a three turn clock. But we're going to play another Chandler anyway. I think getting the extra card this turn is better. I 
think Mountain. I really, and I guess we could play Croxa, right? I wish we had the, another, a fourth untapped land. Uh, if we escape Croxa, go, we have three instants. Is that four instants? Four instants. One, two, three. I mean, we're going to take it off Delirium, but I don't think that really matters. Um... Yeah, let's take a Kroxa. Let's play Kroxa. Because now we can escape the Kroxa and start beating in to get rid of the, the big dragon. This deals it to a creature. So this is the only thing that deals it to them, but we'll decline both. Decline, decline. So now we get to do untap and play a Croxa. Or. No, we're gonna play a Croxa here. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do this in the correct order. We're going to attack. One of these will target the spike field, one of these will target the bolt. But we're not gonna cast either. decline here and we will decline here as well so this tells me that they have some sort of interaction so we will we'll keep the creature we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of the sorcery artifact the instant we can't cast the unholy heat that doesn't matter anymore so we keep instant creature artifact so instant creature artifact means I don't think we need that, so we can always... So like, the the thought here is we could use a channeler to discard another channeler to get Delirium and then use an Arcanist to unholy heat something. One, two, three. So we have instant, instant, artifact, instant. So probably just another instant, right? Probably the spike field has... Mm, if we're doing six, doing six we might as well do it just because this can hit the face let's hope they don't have a counter spell yeah red red black sure so they're in like the the, the jund minion of the mighty plan giant growth see there we go they had the giant growth if we would have unholy heat that earlier or not unholy heat was it the uh the, the almost magma spray Goofed, guys. I goofed. No biggie. Are they dead? Are they dead? We will actually get rid of this channeler here. Click the top two. Take one. Well, not look, but exile the top two. We will take a thought seize. That seems really good here. Yep, yep, can't do it. Can't do it. Thoughts he's too strong. Please ban. Thank you, Wizards. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's go to, uh, it is the last game no matter what, whether we win or lose. We are 6-2 and two right now in this historic event. So let's go ahead and uh, let's finish strong. Let's go to the last game. All right, so we are on the last game here no matter what. We are 6-2, and two, so either we win or lose. Either we, we get it or we go home. This hand seems nice. Seems very nice. We get a lead with an Inquisition and then a turn two Kroxa. Hopefully we can hit a third land for that go blank. Or if we need a fatal push, we can do that too. This hand has everything we need. It even has a little bit of card draw in it. So um, I don't know what opponents do it, but we are going to keep that. It would have been weird if I hit the mulligan, huh? Ooh, DRC. I think we still want to Inquisition first. Um, so snow-covered mountain makes me believe that we're up against the burn deck. So I think Inquisition's a little bit better here than, than just fatal pushing that. Ooh, nope. However, we are going to get rid of the Sprite Dragon. Yeah, their hand's pretty bad. Their hand's bad right now. 
At least for like again, our our hand matches up very well against theirs. We might just wait to croak it too. If the iteration here, do we? I think we care about killing this DRC more than we care about playing a Kroxa. Let me just let me just check the math. So next turn they can go expressive iteration. We knew that they weren't they didn't have another land at hand. So the, like keep them cut off a of mana is also really good. We can also follow this up with a go blank next turn. And I think that's good enough here. We're just gonna fatal push this right now. I guess we should have done that on their upkeep. That was that was wrong of us. That way, if they wanted to unholy heat to get that scry or the uh, explorer scry, whatever it is, um, they would have had to do it on their turn. Creature land. Ooh, that's a good one here. However, uh, I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna go blank. But we are gonna red red so we can see some pyromancer later. They're probably going to keep the expressive iteration. They could keep the Arclight Phoenix. But then they're kind of hoping to, to hit a land off the top. If they keep the expressive iteration, then they could get to put a counter on the dragon by casting that. And then also they could like hit something else they can cast. So yeah. So they, they kept the iteration. Good news for us, though, to get rid of that, uh, that Arclight Phoenix. So, best card to draw would be untapped black source. Best card to draw would not be untapped black source. It's untapped black source. I mean, like, we have three, four, five, or, or we go, ooh, I like that play. So we go Season Pyromancer, discard two Kroxas. Go five and then we can hit like either a red well, we'd have to hit like a black spell but i think that's still okay we, let's go one pyro one croxa next turn we still can't make a cro oh my god oh no no We had captions here, it'd just be like parentheses, inaudible screeching. <laughs> Guess what we don't play in this deck? Anything that can really beat this. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I have to hold that they hope that they don't have any instant or sorcery. Like at all. I guess like step one is to Kroxa to get rid of their last card. Play a swamp and we We do this. We do this. Nice. Yep, that's it. Well well, it happened. Uh six and three still not bad. Still still decent. Uh a little bit of a shame that they drew all four sprite dragons. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and exit out of here and we'll get a quick little uh, end of video deck tech going. All right, so we finished that historic event best of one at uh, six and three. We couldn't rattle off that the, the win against the four sprite dragon draw, but uh, you know, still, I think the deck is still super powerful. I really like how it's not super dependent on the graveyard, just like the old, like all in version was. Uh, where it's just like, you know, you need the Citrus Supplier, you, you need the Arcanist, like this, uh, the, the bunch of discard uh, combined with like the spot removal spells and like these cards just like get you value feels super nice. Uh, I would, I would definitely recommend uh, picking this up. Uh, you know, some ladder games would be really good with it. Uh, we didn't get a chance to play it in best of three, but best of one, it does seem uh, fairly solid. 
Uh, Soren seemed really good every time that we were able to play him. Um, and Chandra, the one time we did play her, uh, won us the game very quickly. So all in all, very solid deck. Uh, for sure, give it a try. Uh, again, this is a bedevil down here. I'm sorry you can't see that. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you did like this, hit that subscribe button at the bottom so you can get notified whenever I do post new videos, which is probably about every week or two. Uh, I'll try to post like two every other week, but uh, just to try to keep up on it. Anyway, hit that subscribe if you do enjoy the content. A great way to support me. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode of this arena. Bye.